Welcome back. We are us. This is Weird West. And that up there is Big Man Joe. As promised, I've paid the guy a visit. What's going to happen? I have no idea. Sure. Help you out. For a price, of course. Okay. Untitled number 12, Grackle. Hmm. Well, that was, uh, unproductive. But, a nice way to finally start things off. Uh... Right, so I did manage to find the... oddly named Pouch of Copper Jingles. I need to go this way anyway, so I may as well return it now before we actually get started. Oh, we're being stalked by pigmen. They don't they never have anything, so I'm not wasting supplies on them. Alright. Just gonna snatch this guy up really quickly. Let's see. So I have managed to get us semi-properly outfitted. I've got us more ammo. We're still basically scraping to get by. I also picked up more more med kits because Lord knows we burned through those in the previous story because I left them all on Jane, which I really, really shouldn't have done. But I've learned, so... <clears throat> I'll be keeping them all myself until it's time to offload them onto the horse. Or maybe I'll leave some on Jane. I don't know. We'll see. I just don't want to have to travel all over the map to pick up people, pick their pockets, and then leave them. I, I can't be bothered to do that. It's bad enough I have to I have to go between Jane and um, Quincy or Clarence. Anyway. This guy looks like he's entering the building. Don't want him finding that body. He was headed all the way out here for absolutely no reason. Now, you would imagine that this would kill him. It does not. Wait, I'm not picking up these weapons, right? Good. While I'm here, I may as well hit the... Wait. This place is only built similarly. Oh, it does have it. Yeah, so it's basically built entirely the same.
now. Oh, she lost her freaking head. One ought to keep hold of that. It tends to be pretty important. into the corner. Well, it worked the way I expected. It just didn't do anything useful. How about we do this? know if the damage for this is spread over the entire area so the further you are towards the edge the less it actually deals or if it's just the same damage through the entire radius appreciate their confusion and willingness to group up. <laughs> Wait, there's a ghost up there now. Great. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've got this place nicely cleaned out, so let's get out of here. And turn in the final job we've got to do. And then move along with the story. Maybe I should have visited the big house before, but whatever. Okay, so where is she? I 
hope this gift is enough. Ever grateful for your efforts. Death's door amulet. So... That's a no on being useful. Ah, well. We got the reputation out of it, and that's what really matters. Fort Glen, home of the dagger and bones. Rough times here. Better not look sideways much. I've been here before. I think so. Pretty sure I had a job that led out here. Wow, I didn't expect actual. Wow. To bet bows are still just bad. Clarence had freaking had a thousand freaking dollars on him. I'm actually genuinely upset that I don't get my money back. Discount negative seven percent. Okay. Seems fair. There are several people up here who will not be happy to see us. Can we manage this without actually being... Well... I don't want to cause a ruckus is all. Oh, they're all under... That... Oh, that's fine. Anyway, um, find the dagger and bones leader. Guess I've done it. say I'm over the moon to see you again. We found your trapper. Oh, I ain't see him. Dead. Taken by Windigo. The spirit of grief. We had to put him down. That true? You killed one of my men. He had become ravenous. It is true. He was crazed, obsessed with the Al Alvedado bracelets. There was no way we could heal him of his greed. Oh, Floods. A bunch of my other men started arguing about these Alvedado bracelets, too. Searching each other's gear, turning violent. A band of them left camp, looking for him. But I'll tell you the same thing I told them. Alvedado's lost gold mines of myth. A tall tale. Ain't real. You're wrong. The spirit of greed is answering its call. We must look for the bracelets, find the lost mine, and destroy it, or Windigo will consume all the West. Windigo, huh? Hmm. I must be a fool, but my man seemed sick. Not right in the head. Fine. You want to go treasure hunting? Be my guest. My man went looking for those bracelets from the southwest corner of camp. Maybe you can pick up their tracks. You want some extra muscle? Take my second in command here. Shoots plenty straight. Just let me know what happens to him. All right? Those fellas, they're family. More of Marianne's men gone ravenous trying to find them Ovidado bracelets. Head out from the southwest corner of the camp. Time to put them tracking skills to use.
Well, the wolf died like it lived. Outside. <laughs> uh, we're done here, so let's go ahead and get out. She said southwest. own. I hear it. Don't worry, I I hear it. This on its own is worth 30 gold, so I'm actually going to take that with me. Finally. also have poor taste. How are they just going to skip out on Golden Ace of Spades? Come on. Relayogram from Treasure Outfit and Bitter Rock. Found one of the Ovidado bracelets. Come back to Bitter Rock, now. Blue Eyes and Hills attack imminent. Need help. Looks like these treasure hunters was after them Ovidado bracelets too. Found one of them at a place called Bitter Rock. Bet you won't be the only interested party. Hope for balance. Be careful as you go out on the land. More trappers attacked our village after you left. We are well defended here, but the spirit of Windigo is growing stronger. We must hope for balance. West Standing Woman. Ooh. Okay. Them ravenous all around, searching for the bracelet. They won't be kind to strangers. Hasty note. Ravenous coming from down from hills want the bracelet. Can't let them have it. We're going to bury it underneath some crates in the basement. Yep, save us. I don't want to go wasting dynamite. What is this music?
There's a golden ace of spades over that way. I should draw everyone into a single spot. Didn't go as I planned, nowhere near like I had planned, but I should switch to nighttime now that I think about it. One in the eye. I think having cl Clarence, I was thinking Clancy. Having Clarence on the shotgun is a, it's a prime move. He keeps using explosive shot, which will clear most of the trash mobs. It does not do what I would like. tried to reload my bow and arrow. You don't do that. Also, I have learned that this fire, if it catches one of your allies, if you shoot one of your allies and they catch fire, they can't put it out by rolling. You have to leave the area. Or, like, find something with water and spill it, I suppose. Carrier and Co. Logs, Bitter Rock, Volume 1. We're making preparations to head out. We finally got a good lead. We think one of the Ovadado children is buried at Bitter Rock with one of the bracelets. We leave tomorrow. Across the Shepherd Mountains we go. We're close after all this time. I can feel it. And I'm sure now all he feels is regret. Or nothing at all. I don't know if he's even still alive. Okay. Yeah, I like being able to do that. two arrows on that. It's awful. There's gold down here. Nope. Not digging that up. Yeah, all of these are probably going to be empty then.
Let's see. Jeffer, huh? Spirit's alive, friend. You come bust me out of here? Them ravenous were keeping me here, hurt me, trying to get me to tell them where, the, where we hit the bracelet. We gotta grab the bracelet and hide it out of here. It's hidden in the basement, buried under a crate. Hope they ain't found it yet. Now then, those ravenous didn't get my pistol. Still got slugs too, and now I got a bone to pick. Take me along with we'll some of them ravenous below snakes. Uh, I, uh, uh, I've got a better version of you. Sit in the basement below crates. Took its sweet time, didn't it? Ooh. Oh dear. We're sort of something that's almost like surrounded. That's how it's going to be then. <laughs> he set himself on fire. Beautiful. I have no arguments with that whatsoever. That is the best way that could have gone. Oh, that one had found a gold nugget. She was holding out on everyone. What? Get off of me. Ground from Carrier and Co. Treasure outfit in Boulder Creek. Looks like we had a lead on the Alvadado bracelet here at Boulder Creek. Looks like the lead we had on the Alvadado bracelet here at Boulder Creek is legitimate. Investigating now, we're hearing the last bracelet was procured by the Weeks family and is in Galen's Crossing. Bought at an auction. Sent someone to investigate? P.S. Any of your team acting? Strangely, bloody lips. Got a lead. One bracelet near Boulder Creek, the other at your old pal Mayor Weeks' place. Best hope them ravenous don't beat you to them. Fortuna Alvadado's journal. Me, Oten, and Eddie, we have a plan. We've got to escape. Daddy's turned into something else, a monster blue eyes. He kills people. I've seen it. 
We have to run far, far away and take our bracelets with us. With the bracelets gone, maybe we can trap Daddy in this town and keep everyone outside it safe. Me and my brothers, we have to split up. The bracelets can't be found together or else whoever does can go right back to Daddy's town and Daddy can escape. Later on in the journal, traveled all the way to our old house, back from when we were happy. But then people came, people looking for gold, looking for me. I've hidden in the safe room. I can hear them upstairs tearing everything apart, crashing furniture, glass breaking. I hope they leave soon. The last entry reads, there's no escape. The trap door won't open, something heavy on top blocking it. I tried everything. Too weak. The food is gone. Can barely write. I'm tired. Hope. Hope Daddy gets better. Hope I see him again. There it is. That's one down. All the Dotto bracelets, gold, heavy in the palm, and an inscription in a language older than the West. Fortuna. Translating the Alvadado Bracelets. My sources tell me that you're collecting the Alvadado Bracelets. Surprised? I keep track of these things, you see. I make it my business to know. But you cannot read their inscriptions. No. An ancient language. Old home language. But I, I can translate them. Come visit me at Heronwall Summit. I am eager to meet you. Voices holler from the spirit hall, and another noise, odd, a cross between a human scream and the sound of bugs chewing through meat. Oh, so you can also have the arrows pick up the element like that. cleaned up pretty nicely. I'm actually going to wait and then loiter. What? Well, now I'm just upset. Oh dear, that's bad. That's bad. Bad, 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 bad. Poison doesn't affect them. They're undead. Okay. 
That is also a way that could have gone. I don't think there's going to be anything with water over here. I could find a barrel of water, it'd be fine. Oh! Look who it is! Your face is less rubbery looking than last time. No one trying to turn you into bacon meat anymore, huh? I have to say, though, I'm impressed you asked Cecilia to forgive you. It was the least you could do. But Clarence Quigley was a bastard and a half. I sure wish there was an option that was neither of these. Forgiveness is a powerful thing, but it doesn't always come easy. At least now Clarence is on a better path. Hoping to stick to it. Well, what's done is done. Hopefully it doesn't come back to haunt you forever. What? I may like to tease, but spoilers are where I draw the line, friend. Anyway, as much as I'd love to chat you up all day, I've got things to do. How's my box doing, by the way? Still holding on to it? Still keeping it shut? I wonder. Anyway, go ahead. Take a look in the prize chest. Hope you find something useful. So she's deliberately just making me hold on to this thing. Just just to have me hold on to it. Oh, inventory's full. It's been a while since I've seen that. away. You win some, you lose some. And now I get out of here. Oh. So, as you saw, Jane was trying to put herself out and was not successful, let's say. No matter how many times she attempted it. What's the Also, there's a nymph relic nearby. I can't get to it right now. Well. What the? This is awful. Okay. Let's not let the people out until we've cleared the threat, shall we? I, 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 I'm standing. Can't be angry if you didn't see it happen. Move, Clarence. That's it. Oh, it's 
not There's one more. This should be, yeah. Sorry, but your spit bugs don't fly. They don't ascend. No, that doesn't feel right either. Oop. Almost ended up poisoned. So how do I get that? That is awkward. Mm. Ooh. From Cleric Hatasa. Half the town is missing down in that mine, Sheriff. We cannot ignore it any longer. Go. Gavin will protect us from the Ridgebacks, but without our husbands. Oh, so. Okay, so Cleric Hatasa was a woman. Is. Well, who knows? Woo! That's unfortunate. A native? I wasn't expecting one of your kind. Well, spirits bless you all the same. If you hadn't killed those ridgebacks, we'd be dead. Please, come inside. We have provisions, ammunition, and our head cleric would like to speak with you about some irregularities at the local mine. Jane, be a deer and hold on to these. And this one. Why not these? And that. And this. Nice. Mighty kind of you. There's a nymph relic in the other room. Not entirely sure what's going on in this corner here, but I don't want any part of it. I mean, if they're offering, why am I? Why would I not take them up on that? So. I'll just take all of it and uh, worry about the rest later. Settler spirits, not yours. Right, 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 right. At least not in this life, right? Get out of the way. Before I start hitting people over the noggin. No idea what that was, but pretty sure I've solved the issue by just unplugging everything. Simple, really.
Well, I guess we're done plundering. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Okay. <clears throat> ah, the native. Praise Gavin for sending you to us. We've been locked away here for days. Please let us offer you shelter. Food? You have no more of that. Ammunition? You're plumb out. Anything you need, it's yours. And, if you'd be so kind, we've had some irregularities at the local mine. I wonder if someone of your stature might be able to help. Sure. That mine has always had a darkness to it. A hundred years ago, it was the hideout of a terrible gang of outlaws. Death, greed. After they left, our ancestors settled here and took over mining operations. Recently, some treasure hunters showed up looking for one of those Alvedado bracelets. Ever since, our miners have become... sick. They started chewing on their own lips. Bloody chins, babbling about that old fairy tale Alvedado, Alvedado's lost gold mine. Then they stopped coming back from the mine altogether. We haven't seen them in days. Tell me about the mine's location. I hoped you might want to help. The way you purge those ridgebacks, you're certainly more capable than any of us. The mine is two hours northwest of here. Our sheriff went to investigate, but it's been three days now. May Eb's mercy bless your journey, friend, and take care from the evil that festers there. Probably ask about the bracelets. Storybooks say Alvedado came across seas a hundred years ago and built the greatest gold mine in the West. It's been lost for decades, though. Fools and treasure hunters say that you need three magic gold bracelets to find the cursed place. But it's greed and fantasy, if you ask me. Distraction from Yeld and Elon's wisdom. Ah, sure, okay. Some Thanks for that. treasure hunters thought an Olvidado bracelet was hidden in the local mine. Solid lead. What are the chances things will be friendly when you get there? Do you know what the shape of a zero is like? Probably something like that. Well, nice. Oh. Well, it's not working out exactly the plan, but... taken anything from this place. Aside from the stuff that I was offered at the what's-its-face. Whatever. I don't need nymph relics that badly. Oh, thank goodness. Why did I just lose 15 reputation? I haven't taken anything. Whoop. Guess we'll have to do this the other way.
that's unfortunate. I have nothing. I've got nothing. Let's just be clear. This piece of trash didn't wash his hands. He dies immediately. Oh, he's on fire now. Good. I actually wanted to do this. Get a little bonfire going. Okay, so they're not immune to poison, but that's not really relevant. Careful. And unfortunately, it starts to rain. <sighs> Ooh. And that guy was digging over here for how long? Tisk tisk. Reload is smooth now. The other person is up here facing this direction, so For a split second, I thought that might have made for a good thumbnail, but I just don't see... It, it just wouldn't have worked. I 
it just wouldn't have. There's a card in there. Might have to put that to use. Shot the deputy. Lord. Well, they had to have shot him because he's behind these terrible, terrible barricades. Where's the freaking. There it is. Why? What? Where'd that even come from? Why is there a ghost in here? Or a spirit, let's say. Oh, I can just grab it. Interesting. Mine entrance key. Oh, there's the door. I don't know why I've been kicking doors open. Oops. You can't kick a cabinet open. Today we have learned. I don't see anything else of interest out here, so let's go ahead down into the mine. So, uh, I'm just going to leave him there. Myself. Ooh. There's 
a nymph relic or card in there. Oh. did say I was going to do this. Well, we have ten. Well, that's good. That's real good. I think I might actually go with the posse one this time. The discount would be really nice. You know, I've got a can of creamed corn in the fridge. I want to eat it. I don't know if I can or even should eat it, though. It's been in there... Maybe a month? I don't know, it's... I mean, it should be fine, right? I mean, I've got another one in the cabinet, but... Well, that's all the way in the cabinet, right? Uh, I should probably put some of these on the horse. This I intend to sell. The more money we have, the better. Of course, then there's the whole thing of I can't... <sighs> anyway. Let's put these gold nuggets on her. space. Will we even need this barrel where, where we're going? Probably not. Are we going to make use of it though? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and boom goes the dynamite. Oh, someone's coming. Oh, I can also do this. Well... It would have worked. But he's on fire now. This is fine. Music takes a while to realize that the fun is done. Not you, Jane. There's something off to the right.
Oh, there it is. I don't want that. I want this. And ex there are more explosive barrels back this way. But first... He's not even using it correctly. Who taught him how to use a pickaxe? His form is all wrong. Wait, isn't her body still on fire? No, it had the audacity to go out. But this one is still on fire. Okay. So there's someone in that other room just watching rats do rat things. Almost like a rat bastard. It's over here, all the way in the back. And if I can get any sort of line of sight on it, that'd be great. What the actual frick? You guys know how I love my explosives. I don't want to waste them on this stuff. Although that's it's pretty good. This quick save because things can go tits up real fast, real bad. Okay. So, it's difficult to get the camera to show you a lot. Relayo Graham to Carrier and Co. Team in Boulder Creek. Excavation's going well. Safe room beneath the house almost on Earth. Be wary though. Odd folks are gathering around the excavation site, camping in the hills. Some of our team started acting odd, whispering, sick seeming. Watch your back and keep yourself well healed. Something comes to mind along the lines of Physician, heal thyself? English is complicated. I can understand why some people find it, well, some people find it really difficult to learn. Noticed. 
Good lord. Not that one. Well, he's been disarmed. Oh. Yeah. I see he was... He too was disturbed by the smoking man. Um, there's... Where'd he even come from? This is the way I came in. Where'd he come from? How in the world did he get behind me? Tricky dick. I think that's... As long as there's no one flinging dynamite, I think we'll be okay. How the frick did you guys get in here? Oh. Oh, there was another way in? How did I not notice that? Not entirely sure I was supposed to even be able to get over that. But we're here now, so... Carrier and Co. Logs, Boulder Creek Mine, Volume 2. Bracelets close. We found a secret passageway. We spotted in the old schematics. The place used to be a gang hideout. Strange tale. As far as we could figure, those Alvadado children ran away from their father and one ended up here. Kidnapped by the Five Rivers group, tortured for information on Alvadado's gold mine, but the kid wouldn't talk. They must have found a way to bury the bracelet before they could find it. But the local miners are going mad, biting their lips, fist fights, accusing ours of, find of hiding the bracelet. <sighs> Trouble's coming. Carrier and Coal Logs, Boulder Creek Mine, Volume 3. We found the bracelet, but we might pay the ultimate price. The miners, they rushed us all at once. Eyes blue, glowing. Took shelter here in the old hideout. Barricaded ourselves inside with the bracelet. You can still hear them shouting out there trying to find a way inside. But we got a bigger problem. At night, I see the blue glowing, but it's coming from our men now, too. Monsters without, monsters within. Ain't no safety, I can surmise. We'll die down here. Oh, come on. Go. 
It's got an old inscription. Old home writing. Can't make heads or tails of it yourself. Just trying to make sure their eyes aren't blue. You two feeling all right? It's okay to tell me if you're not. The gun's just for show. All right then. Anyway, I uh, need another dynamite. Yep, you can keep that. <sighs> okay, now we need to move on to Galen. Yeah, it's Galen's Crossing. It's really weird. I'm trying to keep in mind everything has got pretty pretty much everything has got a southern twang to it. This is probably the longest path I could have taken to get out of here. I can't, I just can't leave it there like that. So lonely. <laughs> oh. oh, right. Weird, I threw her in the fire, but she didn't die. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to do it for us today. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves and everything you've seen here. We will be back tomorrow with another episode. No, not just another episode, but two. Now, I did say that there might have been... Yesterday I said there might have been a new game that we were going to record. Unfortunately, it released in early access. So, no, I will not be playing it, much less buying it. Regardless, I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves and everything you've seen here. Again, there will be two more episodes tomorrow, and uh, uh, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing where this story goes. Now, don't mind the singed hairs or the smell of burning flesh. You should just be grateful there's no smell of vision. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> I didn't realize his health was <clears throat> quite that low. Regardless. I think I've said everything that needs to be said. Next week, there are two more games coming out that I'm interested in. But I'm not going to get into that. As I said, I, everything is that needed to be said has been said. So, with all that said, we will see you. Next time. We